Let's go. America, let me be honest with you. Presidential campaigning is already upon us. And while shaking hands, kissing babies, and not offending Mexicans is a great way to gain support, candidates must win some votes by appealing to sports fans. So listen up, candidates. These are my tips to jock the face-painted vote. Tip number one, pick a freaking side already. Presidents have to make hard decisions. Who to bomb, who not to bomb. If the Professional Bowlers Association Championship is worth a congratulatory phone call. But a president has to pick a favorite team. And I'm talking to you, Hillary. Girl, you can't wear a Cubs and Yankees hat. You gotta be loyal to one team. For example, George W. Bush, who won the election despite losing it because he kept his allegiance to a team he used to own, the Texas Rangers. Tip two, make smart presidential sports moves. Donald Trump went all in on a USFL team that folded kind of quickly, but didn't think purchasing the Patriots in 1988 would be a good investment? Donald Trump, a guy you want in your fantasy league, but not as your nation's president. Tip three, stay in shape. Nobody wants a fat president. Gerald Ford was an all-American lineman at Michigan and probably our greatest athlete ever. Now we got candidates like Chris Christie, who's pulling in the single digits, partly because he weighs well into the triple digits. Maybe jog the campaign trail a little bit, Chris, and stay out of a baseball uniform. Probably not your best look. Tip four, don't mess up your sports facts. John Kerry called Lambeau Field Lambert Field. He lost the presidential election. Obama called the Heat the Miami Heats at the White House in 2012, and then saw his party get routed that year in the congressional elections. Look, it's one thing if you get Uzbekistan wrong. Who can pronounce that? But call Gronkowski Grabkowski, and America will never forgive you. And here's my tip for sports fans. Go out and vote. And remember not to pick a candidate whose only foreign policy experience is a televised beauty pageant. Seriously, don't do that. I'm Giannis Pappas, and I'm just being honest with you.